Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Jason is a Social Scientist. By Mouth Daily. Pill number 707. You might be wondering what this show is about. People often wonder what this show is about. The premise is deceptively simple. I take my HIV medication live on the book of face <clears throat> each day in front of friends, family, and strangers. I do so in order to embrace stigma, dispel ignorance, and find support. After 707 pills, 707 shows, a number of bells, whistles, and bows have risen up and around and about the show. The bells, bows, and other people, the people that come back night after night and give me the most valuable resource, their time. To me, that's the most significant thing that's risen up and around and about the show. The community, therein lies the support that I was looking for. But a number of bells, whistles, and bows have risen up and around and about the show. Ding dong bell, boy do she now, hell, I mean heck, this show has it all. I like to say that it is Cloud Atlas and that it incorporates at least 600 years of entertainment. With Edward R. Murrow's radio broadcasts on record and cylinders played on a 19th century Edison home phonograph along with the nursery rhyme book from my childhood containing woodcut illustrations from the 15th century. It is, in a sense, also The Matrix. In a previous iteration of the show, I created something I call the Rainbow Tunnel, in which I harnessed the power of Grayskull and the Eye of Thundera, funneling them through a series of warp nacelles, creating a static warp bubble and a subsequent singularity, punching a hole through the fourth wall, across the multiverse, and into the surface. The show now takes place in an echo chamber, Created by me that serves as a way station between our reality and I don't expect lay people to fully understand this. This is advanced social science. Yeah, so the show is also like an old-timey variety show. Carol Burnett style mixed with a merry melody of Looney Tunes and a measure of Mork and Mindy. Nanu, nanu. A dash of Mr. Ed and two two doses of Alice in Wonderland. A helping of Hee Haw. Peeps of Benny Hill. A hint of the Highlander. Tons of the Twilight Zone. A tincture of Teen Wolf. Oh, 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 oh! An ounce of Oz. A cup of Creep Show and Cast Away. A quarter of Quantum Leap and a gallon of Gilligan's Island. It's a four hour show and a four hour or a four minute tour. <laughs> it's a four, four minute show and a four minute tour. Piles of Pee Wee's Playhouse. A pinch of Peter Pan. A pound of Popeye. I am what I am. A whole block of Mr. Rogers Neighborhood and a ration of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I'm just a sweet transvestite. From trans sexual Transylvania. Ha ha. Come up to the lab and see what's on the slab. I can see you shiver with Antissa. Patient. T -t -t Touch me. I want to be dirty. Thrill me. Chill me. Full. Fill me, a creature of the night, an undone Benjamin Button, a corny ear of Dumbo, a college try of I Spy, a couple of raw strokes of Bob Ross, a spoonful of Mary Poppins, and the full Monty Python. Finally, lump in Rick and Morty with a liter, a liter, a liter of I Love Lucy in the sky with diamonds, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, you've got the show. Everything is out of place, not of time here, including and especially me. Alice will always be pregnant. Harambe will always be ready for her high fives. <clears throat> the first and the second coming will always be risen with the Obamas getting blowjobs from the Woodies. The Supermen and their boners will always be spinsters and sumptresses working the sweatshop. The twin, twin towers will always stand with Lady Liberty. You will have their MTV. Pigs will fly. Disco and dance will reign like men did in the days of old. I write nightly the future history of anachronism for your future children and your elderly grandparents. May they enjoy it now and time immemorial. If I'd have people take only one thing away from this show, it'd be the knowledge that <clears throat> HIV is preventable. If you're HIV negative, there's a once a day pill you can take. They call it PrEP, pre-exposure protocol. The pill is Truvada, and if you're HIV negative, you take it once a day and it works like a highly effective chemical condom. It prevents HIV. But if you're already HIV positive like me, treatment is prevention. By taking my medication every day and maintaining an undetectable viral load, it makes it so I'm not contagious. U equals U. Undetectable equals untransmissible. You could fuck me bareback all day long and never catch HIV for me. It's a brave new world. The future is now. And it's 1969. Free love. All right, pill number 706, down the hatch.
We are robot. Oh, um, sorry it was a short show tonight. I'll be back for, hopefully for a full show tomorrow. Um, and hopefully for a shower. You guys can go with me to get my car cleaned out. All right, I love you all. Mwah. Thanks everybody.